But what was great and sort of remarkable when we did all these interviews with David Chase was how many times you or I had read really deeply into something and he wouldn't he wouldn't dismiss it. He would say, well, okay, well, that's there, but that was not in any way something that I planned to do. No, and, and in fact, that's something that I've discovered over the decades of interviewing people who tell, tell, the, tell stories for a living, and particularly in TV, which I think is very dependent on architecture. Yeah. To get you, you know, if it's a serialized show to get you through the season, it was once again a lesson in how much of this is instinct. And, you know, Chase was a musician before he became a television producer and writer. And I think, he, I think there's a part of him that's still a musician in the sense that a lot of these things are decisions that are made on instinct and like something either sounds right or it doesn't. And you maybe can't articulate why it sounds right or it doesn't, you just know it. And the decision of when to get rid of a character, uh, when to have you know, a particular plot twist happen, and also just things like uh, how heavily to hammer you know, some of the mythological or theological or psychiatric imagery. A lot of this, some of this stuff is very conscious but a lot of it is just a decision they made on the spur of the moment. And then there were a lot of things that happened on the show that were just uh, as a result of who was available and when they were available. Like, uh, this was, I didn't know this somehow, but the thing about uh, uh, Tony Sirico. Yeah, in, in season, season five, four, they were going to have a whole plot where, like, Polly Walnuts is actively working against Tony at the behest of Johnny Sack. And there's still some of that in there, but Tony Sirico had to have back surgery. And so they could only film all of his episodes at the very end of production. So he's in prison for part of the year in Youngstown on a gun charge. And they just had to, you know, waylay a lot he of He literally what they phones to do in them. a lot of his performance. Yes, in that. he does. And I think Livia is a case where something like that happened too. Like, you know, they obviously, you don't know when you're going to go. Yep. And uh, she died at the point when she died. She died between seasons, and they made the decision to. You know, have one last scene with CGI Livia, which yeah, even Chase David Chase rightfully says so. is a mistake. Yeah, it's unfortunate.